Okay, these are your tools and these are my tools. Okay? Or someone. This one is a vegetable peeler. Hey guys, the weather is getting chilly and we're craving something cozy and delicious. So today, Cece and I are gonna be making chicken and pierogi dumpling soup using Mrs. T's pierogies. It's super easy, the kids love it, it's stick to your bones good. Crush that like button if you're excited to see Cece cook with me again. All right, so first we're gonna get started with prepping the vegetables. I always have her on vegetable duties and lately I've been having her help me peel the carrots. So, Cece, would you like to peel the carrots? Yeah. Okay, remember, be safe and peel it away. Like that. Have it flat, peel it away. While she's working on that, I am going to chop the celery. You're doing a great job, Cece. So is the carrot hard or soft? What color is it? Orange. Orange? What is mommy cook what is mommy chopping here? Celery. That's right. CC, when you cut onions, carrots, and celery, you're making a mirepoix. So I love this recipe because inherently you have a lot of vegetables in here, and I'm always, always trying to sneak veggies in their, their food. That looks good, Cece. Do you want to do the other one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, she can chop it down. No, 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 you cannot. Cece, can you chop? Okay. I don't think that knife is gonna chop it, but you can play chop, and then I will do it. Celery's done. Mm. <laughs> and then, now I'm gonna chop some onions. We're gonna do it this time, cause, yeah. I don't wanna make her cry again. Okay. Cece, is this a whole onion or a half onion? Half onion. That's right. Can I open it? Okay, can I have it? Can you peel this one? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Um, remember last time when you cut the onion, it hurt your eye? Maybe next time we can use goggles. So I'm just gonna give the onion a rough chop. Great, we're done with the onions. Chop the carrots. Carrot is vegetable. Carrot is a vegetable. Is it your favorite vegetable? Yeah. What's your favorite vegetable? Carrot. What other vegetables do you like? Broccoli. Broccoli? Is it because it looks like a tree? Yeah. We're not going to use broccoli today, but maybe next time. You can add broccoli to this recipe, I suppose, towards the end. Okay, carrots. I scoop it away. Yep. You have to peel it away. Good job! Thumbs up in the comment section because she did such a great job with the carrot. Oh See. wait, let's cook. <laughs> so to start the cooking process, I'm gonna start by cooking off our chicken while Cece finishes off prepping the vegetables. We're not done yet, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna turn. This is very hot, don't touch it, okay? You work on the vegetables and I'll work on the chicken. So I'm gonna turn the heat up to medium high. We're gonna let the pot get nice and hot. Drizzle in some olive oil. Can I have uh, salt? You want some salt? Yeah. Okay, are you cooking already? Yeah. Okay, well I'm cooking with chicken. You don't have any chicken, so you do your thing with the veggies. So I'm just gonna brown the chicken uh, for about three to five minutes until it's nice and golden brown. We're not looking to cook it all the way through. We're just giving it a head start. Season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Wow, good job cooking. You're already ahead of me. What are you making? Pierogi. You're making pierogi soup? Yeah. All right, the chicken is looking good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer it into a different plate. I'm using chicken thighs here that I've already cut into bite-sized pieces just because it's easier to cook and also easier for the kids later. So you're left with all these like yummy brown bits at the bottom. That's called flavor. So we have all of those ready. Cece, you wanna help mommy add the vegetables? Yeah. Okie dokie. Oh, my peas. 
Oh, we'll add that later, okay? I want to pee. Okay, so we still have a little bit of oil in here. Can you add the onion? Yeah. Can you pour in the onion? I want to do it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, you can pour it in there. Can you pour it in here? Can you dump it in the, the big pot? Yeah. Oh, oh. Um. Too close? Okay. We're gonna saute the onions first for a couple minutes until it's nice and translucent. And don't worry about the bottom browning too much because we'll deglaze the pot later. I'm gonna deglaze the pot with just a little bit of broth. Now we're gonna add the celery and the carrot and garlic. So now I'm just gonna saute the vegetables for a couple minutes until it's softened up. Cece, what's in here? What do, you, what do you see? Vegetables. What's this? Celery and onion too. Yeah. Did mommy put garlic in here too? Yeah. Yeah. That is called a mirepoix. It's called a mirepoix. That's right. It makes your soup taste good. All better again. Mm hmm So the vegetables are all cooked. So now we're going to make a roux. Can you say roux? Roux. Okay, roux is basically when you add butter and flour. Oh, I see it on my bowl. Okay, just a little bit for you because I need this. So you have butter. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And then let it melt. And then you can add a little bit of flour. Okay, now mix, mix, mix. This will help thicken up our soup later. That looks great. And now we add everything else in, like the thyme, oregano, and chicken. And then to make it nice and soupy, we're gonna add two things. We're gonna add broth. And then Cece, we're gonna add some milk. Okay. Yeah, how many cups is this? One. That's right. Okay, do you want a little bit of milk too? Yeah. If you guys want the full recipe for this, I will leave it in the description box below. Okay, so once we've added the milk and the broth, we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> add the frozen peas as well. I'll give it a stir and then now we'll let it come to a boil then we'll let it simmer for about 10 minutes before we add our Mrs. T's pierogies. So our soup has been simmering for about 15 minutes now. It's thickened up, it's nice and bubbly. And now for the dumpling portion of our soup, I'm gonna be using Mrs. T's pierogies. It's a great substitute for the classic dumplings. Cece. Do you want regular size or mini size? Mini size. Mini size, of course. Why did I bother asking? The mini pierogies are a classic cheddar flavor that's filled with sharp cheddar and creamy whipped potatoes. Let me open it for you and then you can have some in yours. Oh, okay. How many? One. Just one? Yeah. Okay, here you go. What shape is that? Circle. Half circle. Half circle, we eat these a lot, so she knows her stuff. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna add, it has to cook though. So I'm just gonna add the pierogies. I like the regular size ones, so I'm gonna do a bit of both. But I'm gonna drop the pierogies in there and boil them for about seven to 10 minutes until they're nice and soft. The pierogies and classic cheddar add big, bold flavors to your everyday meals. Mrs. T's pierogies are simple and easy to prepare whether you boil, bake, saute, fry, or grill them. Okay, just give it a good mix and we'll just let it simmer for seven to 10 minutes until the pierogies are softened, nice and cooked. Our soup's getting nice and thick, so let's just give it a taste. We always have to taste our food to season. It needs a little bit of salt, but it has tons of flavor. Just a little bit of kosher salt. I love how the pierogies just float to the top. They look so beautiful. I think we just need a couple more minutes, and then we can eat. This chicken and pierogi dumpling soup is like a hug in a bowl. Makes you feel good. Cece, would you like some mini pierogies? Yeah. Okay, it's kind of hot, so 
Make sure you blow. Cheers, cheers. The busy winter months can be challenging, especially this year, so mealtime should be easy and make you feel good. Mm. Be sure to check out Mrs. T's pierogies and check the link in the description box below on where you can find some near you. Thank you so much for watching Cece and I cook again. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Can I say hi, YouTube? Say, we'll see you soon. Hi, YouTube. Bye, YouTube.